What's up, y'all? And welcome back to another episode of Jilly Reacts. On this episode, we are reacting to Family Guy. C short and clean and simple and fresh. You know, some people are okay the with intro, the drive through car wash. To. Me? I'm a fan of the hand job. Hi, I'm Brian. Yeah. Brian, 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 Brian. So creative. Don't love it, though. Yes, I like to have fun with language. Maybe we could grab lunch and then see what she happens. She does. Ugh. This will not end well, like eating an artichoke. Look, Joe, what? we didn't want to tell you, but we're going to the seriously wicked bull run. We didn't invite you because we didn't think you could keep up. Come on, my handicap has never held me back. I'm coming with you guys. Joe, you yes, peed sir. in your bag while you said that. Oh, Whoa, That awkward. was amazing. Hey, I, I, just to be clear, I don't really think you're a whore. Oh, crap. My husband's home early. Wait a minute. You're married? And he's here? Now? You got a dog? Uh, yeah. I rescued him. From... This is the smartest play I've ever seen in this show. From the it's very, very stupid show, but this is smart. Don't. Oh, my God. That was close. Yeah, but think about it. As long as he thinks you're our new pet, we can keep fooling around behind his back. We clear it is so weird to think about. Like, because Brian is a dog, but, like, also, he shows no sign of being a dog, because he has his own brain and can talk. So, like, it seems like it's not weird, but guess what? It's just a show. Clearly overdressed. They have the type of fat white woman here that not even I am interested in. Damn. Ah, I shouldn't have worn high heels. Oh, stop it. You look great. Why? Oh, well, I didn't want all... Why is it... Buzz fluzzy. Fuzzy and I don't know what word I'm trying to describe this. It's fuzzy. This attention. Whoa, this is amazing! I told you guys I could do it. Uh-oh. 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 Oh my god! Joe's completely paralyzed! Oh, that's me. You guys, what? I've been trying to keep my birthday a secret. No, Dr. Hartman, we're not here for your birthday. We're here for Joe. This doctor is so just out of pocket every time. No. I'm afraid of ghosts. And yes, Mr. Swanson has lost all movement and will require around-the-clock care. I'm leaving Joe and moving to Europe. I didn't sign up for this. Buddy, wait. God, this is awful. What am I gonna do? Shit. Coming up, quintuplets. Oh, Bonnie. I love Bonnie. I love her. Born at Koha General. What? That's oh, that's supposed to be burn? Oh. Wow. Whoa! They burn? Why did they burn? Crazy. Love it. He really has no idea. Hey, wanna take a shower with me? Sure. Well, obviously, like, talking dogs don't exist, so why would he believe you? Or think that way? <sighs> what am I, like, why am I talking though crazy? Sure. Hello, Daft Punk. Great song. Here's a Grammy. There you go, Joe. All settled. Now, which wall... That was the most random cutaway... wall would you like to look at for the rest of your life? I don't know. It'd be that one. So before we go, I'm going to put the remote in your mouth. What are you talking about? He's fine. Look, he's all... He took Bonnie's... Is that Bonnie's underwear? Already watching the prices right in there. Oh, he's biting too hard on the volume. Ryan? Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> is that what these? that was? Who's that? Shh, be cool. This is the guy whose wife I'm banging. Oh, what a romantic way to put it. Joe, you can't just sit here. You need intellectual stimulation. So I brought something to read. Brian really pulls, though. Good for him. Me to you. Look, this whole page is all the Wayans brothers sitting in different positions. How you suppose they come up with all their positions? You enjoying all this, Joe? I'm honestly just glad it seems like you have something you like. Mm. Uh, <sighs> oh, come on. I don't want to have to watch this. Uh, you know what? Screw this. I'm out of here. You're my dog. You're not going anywhere. He's muscular, too, man. I'd be scared. I need you, boy. Now more than ever. I think my wife is cheating on me. God, what a nightmare. That guy's even scarier than a thesaurus-asaurus. 
Peter, this just isn't working. We can't take proper care of Joe. It's a huge amount of work, and we don't have any idea what we're doing. And we've reserved a place for him at the state home for mentals and bastards. Oh, my God. Sometimes they whip them with hoses. Yeah, this is Joe Swanson. We are... He's reading the terrible things they do. They bring them right on over. Range for a 915 dump off. Go on, guys. Get out of here. I'll be fine. You know, that, that state home we left Joe in didn't seem so bad. Yeah, it's got to be good. I mean, Napoleon Bonaparte was there. Half a bath. Housing for registered sex offenders. What the fuck? What the hell, bro? Like, I get it. Like, you get a funny idea. Like, this is a funny idea. Doesn't mean you have to make freaking Peter a sex offender. Keep it in your head sometimes. It could have used somebody else. Why Peter? Why is he... <sighs> I don't know. Ah. He's lost his mind. That's why I'm gonna go stay with my mother in Baltimore and work at her wife's bar. Wait, what? Tori, come back! You gotta help me. Leave her. husband's her. a maniac, and the only reason he hasn't killed me is because he thinks I'm just his pet dog. Yeah, yeah, Joe. Yeah, ma yeah maybe. Maybe. Do you, uh, you, you want a back rub? Peter, what's going on? We may or may not have put Joe in a smelly home for the goofy. What? Peter, those places are a horror show. Oh, hello, sir. I'm afraid there's been a mistake. I believe you found our dog, and we need to take him home. No way. Get lost, kid. Give these kids their dog back. Of course, sir. I'm so sorry. Here, take him. Thank you. You're a great American. What are you guys doing here? Okay. We home, what? Joe. We're all really sorry we abandoned you. Sorry, no one gets out of here without a release from their doctor. All right, we'll just call him right now. Holy crap! Dr. Hartman must have dropped his phone in Joe when he was looking at his spine! What the hell? How- there's so much room in there. And his phone's in there. Like... In his- like... Where? Turns out Dr. Hartman's cell phone was pressing on my spinal cord. And that's what was causing my total paralysis. Okay... Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Many of my customers are your mommies and daddies. Jimmy Hopkins, your mother had awful postpartum depression after you were born. Thank you. Cool. I want to be a pharmacist. Oh, yeah. Thank you, Mr. Gold. Oh, my God. Nice. Nice thing to talk about. Goldman, and our final speaker is Mr. Peter Griffin. Boo! Why, you little snot Mr. Nose. Griffin. He plays kickball in the park after school. Get him there. So does anyone have any questions? And now here's nice. Ollie Williams with the Blackie Weather Forecast. Ollie? It's gonna rain! Thanks, Ollie. Peter, how was your big presentation hey. at Chris's class? It was a huge waste of time. Well, it couldn't have been that bad. It was terrible. Peter, if you're not satisfied, then be more assertive. Invite Mr. Weed over for dinner and show him what you have to offer the company. Come over to my house for dinner Friday night. Huh, that wasn't so hard. Well, what time? Uh, I don't know, 7.38? God, I hope that thing doesn't happen where I get nervous and I can't control the volume of my- Very fancy suit. Very fancy. Voice. Hello, Peter. How are you? Fine! State your names. Meg. Chris. And I'm Liesl. Me what the frig? Oh my gosh. <laughs> he seems impressed. Mr. Weed, the Griffin children would like to say goodnight to you. Goodbye. would think that a woman with such beauty would also have the culinary skills of Emera Lagasse. Ah, oh, well, thank you. Uh, so, uh, what, what kind of a name is Weed? They gave it to my grandfather on Ellis Island. Our original name was Bermuda Grass. I would like to promote you to head of toy development. <coughs> oh my god. <coughs> Shit, I was hoping they'd rush over and save him, but that just happened. All right, let's not panic. Nobody even knows about this yet. Police! Random dead body search! Just, just stall him, Lois! Or call the frickin' ambulance. Like, he couldn't breathe for, what, two seconds? And you just let him die? Uh, hey, did someone choke on a roll in here? Oh, no, 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 I, I, I spit it up. Oh. I'm Leonard oh. Hale, Mr. Weed's lawyer. 
We found this tape uh -oh. among Mr. Weed's personal effects with instructions that it be screened immediately following his funeral. The happy-go-lucky toy factory shall be torn down to make way for the happy-go-lucky terminal disease institute. <laughs> oh, sorry, we're out of towels. Uh, let, let me get that for you, sir. <sighs> Has Dad got a permanent job there. yet? Meg, your father's going through a bit of a career transition. He's just sampling a few things. Hey, to get in the car. Okay, but it'll cost you. What do you want, a Cleveland steamer? I said get in the car. What's a Cleveland steamer? If I hadn't pushed... Mm -mm. Nope. Okay, we're gonna end it right there. If you enjoyed this, please... Clearly, I've had too much caffeine, but I was fucking exhausted today. Um, but I can't speak. If you like this video, give a thumbs up. Um, make sure you subscribe. Check out my Patreon if you want more of me. I appreciate you all. Thank you so much for watching this. Like, seriously. I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you all next time.